Hi all, Henry Lynch here, and today we have thumbnails. Uh, so I've been working on uh, my thumbnails recently, practicing thumbnails, and basically what thumbnails do for me, at least, are they enable me to practice composition as a key thing. Um, it also forces me to not go into too much detail. It forces me to uh, worry about the big picture um, and also try and get uh, the atmosphere of the, the picture in whole which often can be difficult if you're just working straight into an image you sort of miss a lot of um, atmospherics and uh, general lighting so these will look pretty bad they're designed to I'm, I don't want them to look completely polished and finished because if I've done that I have spent too long on them and I'm missing the point um, so you'll see me I start with a pretty terrible brush admittedly on this I use uh, one of my usual ones which doesn't really work um, and I've actually done these with texture brushes in the past and they've worked great so I went back to texture brushes because you just there's a lot more information that's suggested within a texture than there than you get from the wishy-washy paint strokes of a, of a fairly standard paintbrush um, so there are a couple of ways you can go about this which you will have seen me do a couple ways uh, from this point um, you either start with a gradient and then work from that gradient that using that gradient's values that it's given you to to f form the image or you can go straight in with a hard brush um, form the lighting and the shapes yourself which you'll see me doing right now with this uh, wall image or, or tower image um, so if you want to do this yourself it really helps like um, I found it very helpful for atmosphere and environment pieces especially um, I find thumbnails especially useful for practicing environment pieces and trying to improve on my environment layouts etc um, so all this is is a grid of uh, rectangles black rectangles uh, which I've alpha locked which basically means that when I'm selecting the one rectangle I can't paint on anything other than that one rectangle which is obviously extremely useful with the gradients and stuff I don't want to be painting on the other things and it makes it super quick you can see I get through I think I I worked it out and I, I spent um, like three or four minutes per um, per image uh, which is, you know, uh, probably a bit long. You can see me going into details on this one uh, a little bit there, for example, and I did on other ones. Um, and I think it's quite important with these to keep it quite loose um, and just focus, as I say, on the big picture um, and make sure it looks good from afar. Now, as I'm watching this, I, I watch it on my preview thing in my editor and I can see things from a distance and I can see things I wasn't necessarily seeing at the time um, although what I am doing when painting these is you'll notice my navigator in the top right I have a uh, shrunken image of the whole page I'm working on so I can actually see uh, what each image looks like from afar whilst I'm working which is extremely useful I suggest using something like that in a program that you are using for your painting um, so I, I wasn't like especially proud of a lot of these but the point of these is this this is a sketchbook this is me practicing this is me throwing out random stuff so obviously I hadn't uh, I didn't have any specific scenes or anything in mind whilst I was painting these you'll see me jump from one to another just throwing down paint and creating something from the shapes that are there it's not about the design it was about composition lighting things like that the basics it's 
it's useful to sometimes just strip everything down and I have to only focus on a few things. You'll notice also my values, although for the most part they're there, they're not anything extreme. It's mostly black and white and then just uh, some details that I, I thrown in the middle. Um, not sure what this thing was, a bit weird. <laughs> But uh, so you can get, you can actually get this this grid that I was using the full Photoshop file uh, for a dollar if you want to support the channel um, and my work. Then that's that'll I'll put a link in the description to that. That's on my art station. If you're curious and you want something like that, otherwise you can create it yourself. It's uh, nothing too difficult, but you know time saver and all that. That's uh, so that's there if you want it. Um, and I'm also a, if you didn't already know, a concept artist on uh, working in the game industry currently. Um, and I'll put the link to the, it's an indie game, so uh, I think we're currently looking for funding. Um, so I'll put the link to that in the description and you can have a look at that if you want as well. It's uh, fairly early stages at the moment, but uh, yeah, already done a number of concept pieces for that and um, you might see them around on my social medias if if uh, uh, once I'm allowed to post them because obviously don't want to ruin the game before it's even out but there you go so yeah uh, thank you for watching I hope this helps you should definitely give it a go if you're having trouble with composition or you're having trouble with uh, lighting or values um, just strip it down to bare minimum You've got a small image that you're not going to take to a finish. It's you're just blocking in shapes with hard values, blacks, whites, maybe a light grey in the middle. And you don't worry too much. You just focus on what it looks like from this distance here. Um, and you know some of these are pretty cool. Uh, the windowy one on the right, the towers in the nearer the top in the middle and the rooftops on the left perhaps the uh, like beam of light uh, almost bottom left um, they're quite strong images mainly because it's I've used almost solid black um, and I quite like the composition of those others uh, at the very center one, I quite like the composition of that, um, perhaps lacking some light and detail. Uh, but it, it's good to analyze, so I, I would certainly have a crack at it yourself if you're struggling with issues um, to do with composition and lighting. Um, so yeah, I will see you in the next one. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe. And goodbye.